swing over by Chris Stapleton is going to be played capoed on the third fret of the guitar and then comes out of G-shaped formation from that point forward. The intro is going to begin with ring finger on the sixth string third fret, and I'm going to be referring to these frets now from this point forward as though the capo is the nut, so one, two, and three. Ring finger on the sixth string, three fret. Second finger on the five string, two fret. Mm -hmm. Open four, open three, open two, and pinky finger pulled back to the one string three fret. The rhythm on the, uh, really the rhythm for pretty much the whole song is kind of a driving train feel, like one, uh, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, what I'm doing is I'm counting sixteenth notes there. One E and a two E and a down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Sometimes with emphasis maybe happening on a down, but in other points in the song with emphasis happening on an up, and I'll try to point out when those are taking place in the rhythm. So on this first chord, we're going to start off just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Or down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Um, and you're going to hear one, two, three, four. On the and of three, one, and two, and three. On the end of three, you're going to hammer on with your first finger to the two string one fret so that you get, or like we're alternating between that feel inside of this G. So one and two and three and four and. And on the end of four, you're going to lift your finger back up. So very slowly. One and two and three and four and. the same feel on the next chord which is going to be a C major 7. We're going to leave our pinky planted where it was on the 1 string 3 fret, move with our ring finger to the 5 string 3 fret, and our second finger to the 4 string 2 fret. And here we'll be strumming from the 5 string down. Same feel. 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So that's a hammer on still with our first finger to the 2 string 1 fret. And then it goes back to the G, one, and two, and, uh, and I'm counting the eighth notes because that's when the hammer comes, but keep in mind that our right hand rhythm is a one E and a two E and a up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, or really like down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. kind of pop with the right hand on the and. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. That and, your first finger on your right hand is hammering into that position. So that's the intro. Uh, the, the verse is going to be the same thing except for that hammer-on is going to happen, I think, on the and of four instead. So lyrics are going to be happening like one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So that uh, the hammer during the verse is happening on the and of four. And then come back off and move to the C, two, three E and a four E and a. Come back off, one E and a two E and a three. So the same feel, it's just that the hammer-on is slightly delayed, and if you listen to recordings, you can hear that taking place. After two rounds of the G to the C7, to the uh, G to the C7, I believe, it's going to come to a D major. That's going to be an open four string, first finger on the three string two fret, ring finger on the two string three fret, second finger on the one string two fret. Same strumming pattern, but here on 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a uh, on the uh of the 3, 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a uh, on that uh, uh, you need to be lif lifting your second finger off of the 1 string 2 fret. 1E and a 2E and a. Uh. Actually, I think it's on the uh of 2. I'm forgetting exactly where it is in the count, but you can hear... Um, in the recording, Chris Stapleton lifts his second finger off of the one string two fret and then goes back to the C chord. And 
here the C chord will be an actual C major chord with our pinky finger on the three string on the one string three fret. So our our uh, ring finger is five string three fret. Our second finger is four string two fret. Open three string. First finger on the two string one fret. Pinky finger on the one string three fret. And here, whereas we were in the intro and verse, we were hammering on with our first finger. In this last C here that comes after the D, we'll already have our first finger down and we'll be lifting it up. So one and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So I think it comes up on like the uh of three. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And the strumming keeps happening there. And then back in the G chord, G. And uh, the hammers here in the intro feel again happen on the and of three. And that's the verses to this. When we get to the chorus, it will be... What that is, is it's a walking, uh, a walking progression out of an E minor. The E minor will begin with ring and pinky fingers on the third fret of strings two and one. So ring finger on the two string three fret, pinky finger on the one string three fret, First finger will be stretched out here to the five string two fret, and we're emphasizing the open six string. The strumming pattern in this course is going to be a down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So we're going down, down, up on the E minor, then we're going down, down, up on the second chord, which is kind of like a D. But what Chris Stapleton does here is leaves his ring and pinky finger where they were on strings one and two third fret brings his first finger back to the three string two fret and then grabs with his thumb the six string two fret. If you don't like that chord, if you don't like grabbing with your thumb, you could just move with your first finger to the six string two fret because really what we're wanting to emphasize is the walk up of to the G chord. So the E minor to that kind of F sharp D chord down down, down, up, and then to the G chord. Uh, that would be second finger to the six string three fret. Um, and just let your second finger mute out the five string. And then we're going to come to a C chord. Uh, ring and pinky remain where they've been, and we move with our second finger to the five string two fret. Uh, I'm sorry, the five string three fret, letting our second finger mute out the four string. And we'll do another down, down, up and then up to this D chord like before. So uh, that was a, from the G chord down, down, up to the C chord to a D chord with our thumb grabbing the six string two fret back into the G chord. And then that repeats E minor to the F sharp D to the G to the C to the D to the G to the E minor to the F sharp to the G to the C, to the D, to the G, and then it comes up to a D chord, and you can hear the second finger lift off of the one string two fret again, like it does in pretty much every D chord of the song, and then it goes back to the C chord, and you can hear the one, uh, the first finger lift off of the two string one fret. And that would be like a down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up is what's getting emphasized in those chords. Down, up, down, up, down, up to the G. Hammer. Hammer to the C chord. Hammer. Hammer. And then we've got a bridge. The bridge is the last set of chords to learn. It's an E minor. I'm sorry, it's an A minor to an E minor to a G major. So the A minor is going to be an open five string, second finger on the four string two fret, ring finger on the three string two fret, first finger on the two string one fret with an open one string behind it. Uh, you can hear that Chris Stapleton tends to go to this in, an ha in a hammer-on fashion where he kind of goes ahead and starts to strum across open string, but then immediately hammers down into that A minor formation. And it'd be a down, 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 um, Like a down, down, up, down, down, up, and then to an E minor, where he does the same thing, hits and hammers on. 
into the G chord. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then it uh, repeats the A minor to the E minor to the D chord. And does the little lift off of the one string two fret in this D. I think I said D minor, I meant D major. So uh, just for clarification, first round of the bridge, A minor, E minor, G. Second round of the bridge, A minor, E minor, D major. With opening of the one string. And then we go back into another chorus. And then I think it ends in a vamp over this original intro set of chords like the G, hammer, G, hammer to the C major 7, hammer to the C major 7, hammer, etc. So those are the chords and the movements to Chris Stapleton starting over. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.